Hello there everyone and welcome back to day 29. For whatever reason my microphone decided to deselect itself as the active input device and I got absolutely zero sound from the entire recording today. So it's going to be a little different from the usual episodes, I have sped up the footage to five times and I'm just going to talk over it like this instead. With all that being said, you saw us just kick things off there with a birdhouse run. And now we're carrying on going back to the Desert Diary that we started off yesterday, heading over to the Narda Fairy Ring to go get the bird, the clay. I did revise my plan a bit, uh, slash actually come up with a plan, I guess because the one that we were using yesterday was obviously atrocious and we gave up on but I really don't want to run laps, this is anything but laps part 2 so I did come up with a new plan which you'll see in effect shortly got a couple of quests on the list one that I was intending to do during this challenge anyway because it's a requirement for desert treasure uh, the second one we needed the first one for and it gets us a bunch of agility XP so you'll see that obviously we went to clean the herb just then and now doing the pyramid plunder uh, killed the vulture on the way down here as well and now we're going to sell an artifact for Simon Templeton and that is completed the diary Turning that in, we get 2,500 agility experience. We have 20k to go at the start of the day, so that's a great start at the least. And now I'm getting myself ready to go and do Troll Stronghold. About to start the hardest boss we fought on the account so far. Here he is, Dad. I remember making some comments during the recording about how I hated the reduced experience because it annoys me when I can't see what damage I'm hitting. Yeah, fuck that mechanic. I originally started going up there, but then realised I probably didn't have the agility levels for all the shortcuts, so I just ran around with prey range up. This quest is pretty simple, it's a lot of running back and forth through the troll lands, killing a few different enemies along the way, and then going back to Berthold to turn it in. Nothing too complicated going on here, but like I said, it is a requirement for desert treasure, so something that we had to get done either way, just moved it a little ahead in our schedule. And that was the Troll Stronghold turned in. Haven't got my times on today because this is all just a different format, so... Apologies for, for today being a bit weird and different, but it is what it is. And now we are moving on to Troll Romance, not too different from the first one, it really just includes a lot of running around the troll lands. You see me using the AJR Fairy Ring to get there here, going up through the basement, we're going to do that a bunch more times before this quest is through. But yeah, we're, we're trying to reunite or unite this, this troll couple, I guess, and that just requires a lot of running around and you get some flowers and then you kill the guy so we're off sledding
ended up doing a beekeeper random just because it only took a second. Like, those ones are so quick that I always just feel like I have to do them. So if you get all the beekeeper outfits, then they will provide XP lamps instead. So like, it's a nice little bonus that I guess probably quite a lot of people don't know about. If it's like a Leo, then no way I'm doing it on one hour limit locked, but a beekeeper, definitely reasonable. Alright, we get our epic sled techers, we get our flower, and we get on the hell out of there. I ended up going down here because I wasn't sure exactly where it was going to put me out and it put me close to the DK sphere ring so then I just teleported. Oh no, I didn't teleport, I ran. I ran and said that I should have teleported, that's what I did. Now for the final fight with Arg. Just pray, melee, and hit him. I also realised at the end here that Dad was still safe spotted in the same place, which was weird. Gonna get back inside though to turn in and get our reward, which was 8,000 agility XP. So this was a quest that I didn't actually have on my list to do which means that we are now expecting to get two more quest points than we actually need to to finish the final boss because I think we have to do pretty much every other quest that I've got left now. So 8000 agility XP gained there puts us about 10k away from our goal in total and now that we have troll stronghold done and we have entered it that was a task on the Fremenic Diary, so I went on to do the rest of the Fremenic Diary because it's relatively easy. And it's going to be an extra 2,500 agility XP when we get it done. Caught the birds, then headed south to kill the rock crabs. I, I made some comments about how much I hate killing crabs because it makes me feel like I'm cheating on the account's purpose, but I keep being forced to actually fight crabs for achievement diaries. At least it's not actual AFK crab training, so I don't think it really counts. That was me realising that I actually needed five snake grass and a one. Then we went to Keldegrim. That guy just randomly stopped me for a conversation and confused me for like two minutes. It confused me so much that I was looking it up and then just repeatedly failing to steal that cake because the guard was next to me. But yeah, I'm a professional. Now we had the diary done, but there was no real good way to get back to the Fremenic region. So I decided to go to Miscellanea, top up my reputation here, collect the herbs that we have not checked on in a few days. Unfortunately, because the balance was so low when we got there, I think it affected the rate of the herbs that I got because I didn't deposit until after. I did it the wrong way around. You meant to do it before and then I think it it like counts as if you had that much for the days. It's a confusing system, miscellaneous favour, but I basically did it the wrong way and I think I got less of a haul because of it. But we did get some herbs there, so they do need to be processed and sold still. Uh, I didn't manage to get to that today. 
And at this point, like after finishing the Fremenic Diary, I was considering going to do the Faldor one, which is still a potential option. But today there was actually an update to a few different things. There was a big Colosseum update, which I'm actually super excited to go check out on my main because the drop rate's got improved and I can actually earn things now. But other than that, there was a wilderness update, two wilderness updates actually, and one of them is relevant to us, because it is the wilderness agility course, which you can see me boost him to get into with a summer pie here. Now, it wasn't until I got to the deep wilderness that I realised Scurry was with me. And yeah, I've never done this course before, so I did just go down that ladder and check out a room thinking I was going the correct way. But yeah, we we accidentally brought Scurry with us, but at that point I was in the deep wilderness and there was no way to teleport out. So I kind of just went in. Like, what else am I going to do? Keep running it. Now the changes that were made to this thing today is that you get these agility tickets from tagging the dispensers you go around. I think I actually missed this one, if I remember right. Like I didn't tag it and it didn't like it didn't work properly for some reason when I tagged it. So yeah, I missed a ticket there. But you'll see very soon that this didn't end too well for me. And there it is. This guy got on me. I tried telling him I had nothing, but he didn't believe me. The second update to this place is that you can now also pay a 150k fee to that ticket dispenser. And if you do that, you get loot every time you complete a lap. So there's more likely to be PKers there because they think you have loot on you. And they also get you 150k if they kill you, which you'd have to pay again. But, like, I wasn't actually. I hadn't paid, so that guy got nothing and just wasted both of our times. I went to Ardy just to check that I could reclaim Scurrius there. The clock had ended, but, you know, I wasn't actually taking game actions. I just wanted to make sure that I could still reclaim my pet after losing him in a PvP death. And yes, I can. Don't worry, we're all safe. So that's another mill gone from the main account as I rebuy Scurry for the second time after losing him to something that I definitely shouldn't have. We had a pretty solid day, though. We got a bunch of agility XP, and the only thing left to do is finish off that 49 agility tomorrow and move on to King of Wogi. That's all for this one though and my footage has ended but I'm gonna keep talking to wrap it up. Thanks a bunch for watching. Please do leave a like and a comment down below as always and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can see the future uh, episodes as they come out. Yes I can still talk I think. It's gonna be all from me and this black screen. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.